everybody, it's me, Melissa, aka Fallen Angel. Um, I just wanted to like put it out there that <laughs> I'm a beginner at being a vlogger. That's what my kids say it's called. I thought it was a blogger, but they're like, what the heck's a blogger? That's for my generation. The new generation, it's vlogger with a V, <laughs> video blogger. So I'm new to this and I'm my kids are teaching me how to add music and add like the thing in the beginning, um, an intro. My son's helping me with that, he's nine. So I'm gonna be working on those things and today we bought a selfie like thing, stick, a selfie stick, and I'm gonna learn how to use that too. <laughs> it's fun. So anyways, right now this video, I actually made some videos today, but I'm not gonna post them until I do this one first because I said that if anybody asked me any questions, I would get back right away and so I got some questions asked to me so it's time for Q&A and I wanted to get right on that because the most important thing to me right now is my audience I'm trying to create an audience and I've already had a lot of people who especially people close to me who are a little weary and always looking out for me who are like why are you putting your life out there for the public so uh, there's a lot of reasons, um, so I'll answer that question first. But look, I even wrote them down. But um, so I've had a lot of people asking me questions. Um, so hopefully I won't run out of time because I have a lot of other videos I made today. I usually have to delete them and then make space on my phone. So sorry if it ends quickly. But um, so my obviously I have two kids that have their own channels and they do videos all day and I watch them they're always around me and I started thinking how cool it is and then I just started with my own modeling career as Fallen Angel that's my nickname um, I'm gonna be doing a professional photo shoot with Real Angel Wings really soon um, that's exciting and then I've already been doing Instagram modeling since September and so that's where it all began and so I also have like people asking me so many questions about my life because my life is kind of weird. There's so many different aspects of my life as the person I am. Sometimes I'm the mom and a really good mom. Um, I interact with teachers every day. My son that has special needs has a lot of people in his life. He has a DSPD worker. He has respite care staff. He has doctors. He has his teachers. And I interact with all of them, and when I am that person, I'm Caden's mom, and I'm very protective, I know everything about him, I'm very strict, I'm very aware of everything going on in his life all the time. I wake up probably like f 10 times a night to check on him. I know everything about Caden. Like, I know him, I just know, like, I even have like a very strong connection to him. I know when he's struggling with certain things. Um, so when I am Caden's mom, I'm like somebody to not reckon with. I am very serious. His life is very important to me and fragile. He has epilepsy. Um, whoever he's with, I'm very weary of. And he's just, he's a blessing in my life. He's really an angel. Sometime I'll tell Caden's story. He's a miracle. So I, I don't mess around when it comes to Caden. And anyone who knows me knows that. <laughs> And then the other kids I'm not as like freaked out about, but also pretty protective over. And um, Caitlin and me are kind of like always butting heads in drama and divas. And then Tristan's my baby, but she's really independent. And then Caleb is like, <laughs> Caleb's kind of my unique child. He is Caleb. And um Anyways, so there's that's the mom part of me, and then there's the, the single life, dating, Instagram modeling, going clubbing. That part of my life is completely separate from the kid part of my life and being a mom. They're like two different people. And when they go, I have the ability to change my mind frame. I stop cleaning. I stop like doing all the mommy stuff, and I indulge in my freedom. It's really important to me, and I feel sad when I don't get my freedom. And it's kind of, like, lately becoming my oxygen. So, because things have been stressful. So there's that part of me, and that part of me is, like, making friends. 
I've made so many friends lately and a lot of them like are so much younger than me. Like I made this awesome friend, Jen, but she's, she's so much younger than me, but we get along so well. And, um, I just have been like making friends, guys and girls, being really social, which takes a lot of when you're my age and you've been through like three marriages and all that I've dealt with, it's not easy to pick yourself up and be like, I'm going to go out in the world and make friends. Like that was easy in high school, but it's hard when you're normally like every day doing dishes and laundry and lunches and driving all around and doctor appointments and keeping this and that straight. And it's hard to take your mind from that and remember what it was like when you were in high school and how to let go and forget about all that and just be free and be you, whoever that is, and live it to the fullest. And then when it's time for that life to end, you shut it down and go back into responsibility mode. Um, I'm good at it. I think some people suck at it. I've seen other people try to blend it. You can't blend it. Um, my kids know what I do when they're gone. They know like that I have fun. They know about my dressy clothes. They try to put them on and dress up. But I don't mix the two. Um, it's just too hard. So anyways, my Q&A, um, this is answering. I hear kids coming. Hold on. What? He didn't say he's going to have another hour on the Xbox. And it's almost 12. Uh, okay. No. I am. He said no. He nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, I'm doing my video. Nope. No, no, no. I'm doing my video. When I come down, I will solve it. Go and wait. Being a mom. So, anyways, um, this is in response to my... Oh, yeah. To answer the question, like, why would I want to put everything out there? Well, um, obviously, I don't put everything out there. There's things about me I would never, ever put on my videos. There's very private things about my life or things I'm going through that I would never put out there. <laughs> um, there's a time and a place for everything. I do go to therapy every Wednesday. I've been going for a year. Um, I started going to therapy. Uh, this like goes in with my questions because one of the questions is how do I stay positive? <laughs> well, that's one way. Um, a year ago in January, um, I was at that time married and my husband started to leave. He started to have some things going on and he just started to leave. And when he left, he took everything and left. And I don't want to like get into that too much or talk about it because it's really personal. But what, how I ended up in therapy is because when he left, when he started doing that, I never had had anybody do that. Like, me and my other exes, we would fight. Let me check the camera. Okay, so we would have our arguments, but like we, nobody ever just left. And that started happening, and I didn't know what to do. And my first thought was that it was me, and I'm going to fix it. So I started going to therapy, and my therapist is really, really cool. She's girl she's like really cool chick power tough strong I look to her like not just a therapist like but like almost like a strong version of myself that I can look to and say help me I need you I'm struggling and she empowers me every time I leave therapy I feel so empowered it's enough to drive me another week so I started going to therapy a year ago for that reason and um, ended up still getting divorced, but I went and I, f I can say that I did everything that I know I could do. What? How do you turn on the oven? I will be down in a minute, okay? So anyways, um, so this is going to be really long. So anyways, I started going to therapy for that reason and that ended and I'm still going to therapy. I've kept going even when I was like, I don't think I need to go anymore. No, I have bad days. I have struggles. I have times where I'm like, this is so hard. I I don't know. It's just too hard. And then I think, okay, I'll go to therapy. And I think everybody resists what's best for them because every like Tuesday when I know therapy's coming, I always think of a bazillion reasons to not go to therapy. And then I tell myself, you know, if you don't go, you're going to feel bad and not, it's like getting 
a reboot of battery charge. So I go and um, that's where I talk about like the most personal things in my life. So when people say, why are you letting people into your private life? Well, I'm letting you into parts of my life, but I'm definitely not going to be taking you to therapy with me. <laughs> I think that's illegal anyways. So anyways, um, I'll be right back. <laughs> 